Good morning, everybody. This is Cruz from the Heartland Mushers, and I would like to go over again the measurements for a traditional X-Pac harness, and also how to measure and see that it's properly fitted, a CTC gear shoulder harness. Now, there's a couple measurements that you're gonna need. We went over those in the first parts of the video, but I wanna show you one more time. This is an X-Pac harness, all right? There we go, flip her around like so. Now, first thing you're gonna need, here. Now, you are gonna find the top of the breastbone. You're gonna want that to sit on the top of the breastbone so it doesn't go to the throat. You're gonna take it around to the base of the withers, okay? That gets you one side, you multiply it by two, that gives you your neck measurement. The next measurement, again, on here, we are going to go from the withers, middle of the withers, you are gonna pull your tape down diagonally on the dog to the middle of their last rib. Now, that's where this, where the reflective sits here on the harness, this piece, that is what they are measuring for. Now, feel for that last rib. You do not want that strap sitting anywhere near their soft tissue. So, you're gonna go withers down to the side, last rib diagonally, smack in the middle of the dog. That's where you want it. Last measurement for the traditional x backs which I prefer for sledding, is gonna be the length, okay? Now, top of the breastbone, between the front legs, up under, you come diagonally, make sure you're across the ribs there, right on the center of the dog, to the base of the tail. Now, base of the tail, that is where, back here, where this is gonna sit, Make sure I don't lose my video there. Um, those are the measurements you're going to need for an X-Pac to have it properly fitted. I get all mine custom just to make sure each dog is individually fitted for their harness. Proper harness fitting, very important. Now, we're going to go over the CTC gear shoulder harness. Now, I love these for dry land or if you've got a dog that crabs in back with the sled, these are great. Now. Neck measurement, same thing. We're gonna go withers around to the top of the breastbone. Okay, gonna need that. Second measurement, we're gonna get, I want you to feel the top of the breastbone to the bottom of their sternum on their tummy. Feel where the soft tissue in the tummy starts and the end of the breastbone there. That is the measurement you're after. You do not want it on the soft tissue. You go underneath here, down to the bottom of the sternum between their front legs there. Now. Make sure your measurement is on the sternum. That's very, very important because you do not want, while they're pulling, it to come back and hit that soft tissue. Last measurement here is gonna be girth, right? Now, again, find your spot there on, at the end of the sternum, on the bone. You're gonna go all the way around the dog and that will be your girth measurement. Again, this is the uh, shoulder harness from CTC Dog Gear. Of course, their neck attachments for necklines are up here on the shoulder, which is my preference, and an extension so I can use the same lines. And you've got your traditional X back here. Wherever you decide to get it is fine, but double check your measurements. Um, sometimes take them three times and then get the average. That way you're gonna be sure you're right smack on. If you have any questions, please contact me here at Heartland Mushers, Mom Cruz, or contact Natalie at CTC Dog Gear. I thank you very much. Bye, guys. Hi, everybody. This is Cruz with uh, Stormhawk Siberians and Heartland Mushers Association. And I want to show you two examples of x back harnesses, what it should and shouldn't look like when it is on your dog. Now, this is Chaos, who has recently lost weight. Now, I want to, first thing I'm going to show you here is this is too long, OK? This piece back here should be about right here at the end of the tail. All right, now I'm gonna show you the right example in a second. Now, second, this too big, way too big, way, way too big. Up here in the neck, also too big. Get chaos over here. Now, when you measure, feel in your dog the breastbone. Up here, you're gonna feel a lump. That's where the top of the breastbone is, the sternum. That's what you want to feel for. This V in front, here you go, bud, should hit on that breastbone. Now, chaos is now 
Hi, sissy. Is too big and it falls down. So I'm going to show you a right example. Thank you, Bubby. Caster. Oh, come here, buddy. Oh, not on the counter. Come here, bud. Now, this is Caster. Caster has on a Chatmatic and it is a properly fitted harness. I got it twisted there. There we go. Now, first, see where that comes? Back here by the tail to where it should be. Over here on the sides, along the ribs is where you want that piece to lay, right? Just like so. Up front, this sits right on the breastbone, exactly where you want it. So this is what you want it to look like. If you have any questions, just ask. It's been Cruz from Heartland Mushers. Okay, hi, this is Cruz from Heartland Mushers and Stormhawk Siberians. I want to show you a CTC dog gear shorty style harness and what it should look like properly fitted. First, up here in front, the V sits directly at the top of the breastbone or sternum. It has to be right there. That has to be the start. That is where Paxis is. Over here. Now, around here, you don't want it in the armpit, okay? You want it back a little bit so that when they stride, there's no chafing, okay? Now, easy measurements. You go from the top of that breastbone. You pull your tape up and around to the withers. Half the measurement. That way you get it right. Then you times two and that is your neck measurement. Then you're going to get the girth back here. You, now, you're gonna feel underneath the sternum. You want this on the sternum, not on the tummy, sternum. You feel under, come back a little bit, pull that tape all the way around, and then <clears throat> breastbone to the end of the sternum, okay? Very important. And don't be afraid to squish around and feel where that is, they don't mind. No matter of fact, we like tickles, don't we, sweetheart? Anyway, now, that is a proper fitted, this is a medium, Pax is about 53, 54 pounds. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask or get a hold of Natalie at CTC Dog Gear. It's been Cruz from Heartland Mushers.